Hey, welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Matt Warbeck. With me today, I have Mike Brown. Thank you for joining. Thank you for having me. Yeah, awesome. Um, I should sip. That's rude. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, uh, maybe tell the people at, at home uh, what, to, what you do here at Sherpa. Yeah, account manager. Uh, work with clients in, I guess, a variety of industries, mm -hmm. like healthcare, uh, manufacturing, financial. But uh, yeah, just work with the wonderful people here, uh, design, programming, digital marketing, and yeah. make things happen. Very busy guy. Um, so one thing I wanted to bring you on just to talk about this particular thing that you do so well. Um, I see you up there all the time, and you are creating some kind of visual plan. It looks like you're whiteboarding <laughs> all the time. So maybe you could touch on what, uh, what whiteboarding is. Uh, I don't even know if that's the proper term for it, but I just love it. I want to kind of learn more about how the process works. Yeah, well, I, I know that some people have like more of a, a, pro, a better process than me. For me, it's just I can't, like I just don't like staring at my screen and just kind of um, using whatever tools for like a workflow online first. I kind of just like mapping everything out on the whiteboard first, um, usually for a lot of like process type things yeah. or um, brainstorming, yeah. those are the most common. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of get it all out there and then just, <laughs> it's kind of counterproductive, but uh, ish, like when you're just by yourself and you could easily be writing on a piece of paper, but yeah, it helps you see it all. And then you kind of just take that and compress it into more of a, a process document on like a nice, neat, um, system online. Like a software yeah. program. Where did this method come from? Where did you learn this or see it? Oh, the big fish, Marty. The big fish. It's just kind of, it, it was something where I would always, yeah, just make my lists and kind of keep it all in my computer or whatever. And um, yeah, you kind of get in the weeds, but when you put it on a board, you just feel a little bit freer, like your brain works a little bit better. And then you can kind of call people over because we have like an open space office. Yeah. So I can call you over, call, um, Maddie C over and just like ask questions and it's all there instead of kind of pointing to your paper and, and things like that so yeah you can point to it and that's also just like and you spoke about this is like the strategy side of things is usually when it, I see you kind of doing that stuff and it's you, ca you can't do that on a 13 inch like laptop screen really yeah. you can't really visualize and feel it and well. you, can't, yeah, you can't really feel it and, and yeah, you can't kind of just your your brain gets more compressed, like more, yeah, one one line, and you, I don't know, yeah, process and like creating a workflow for like a digital marketing campaign, for example, you can kind of see where the the missing links are. So you're saying, okay, majority of people are coming in through these channels. They're going to see this type of thing. Um, start listing them out, and then you kind of make certain doing like the beautiful mind thing where you're connecting all the <laughs> connecting all the lines and like you might do the beautiful mind thing. I'm like uh, <laughs> it just looks like a pile of <laughs> markers and, and colors yeah so. uh, well, yeah <laughs> <laughs> arrows pointing yeah, everywhere yeah, yeah. and yeah. just you kind of figure out like oh like well that user is actually going to bypass this step that they need to know or they might be jumping on at this point of the customer journey and they might not actually get the information from here so um, let's you see the whole thing and kind of pick out the the holes which is nice. Can you provide um, some, maybe some pointers on how to get started with whiteboarding if someone wants to try it out? Besides getting markers and a whiteboard? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. You just, um, in, you're taking your big idea and you're just kind of, um, I don't know, you used to do mind mapping as a, as a kid, like in, I don't know, high school or whatever, where you just make the bubbles of different, um, of your major topics and kind of have things branching off. Mm -hmm. um, definitely one way you could do it when you're just brainstorming where you're taking your larger topics. So if you're saying, hey, like we're doing coffee break. Um, okay, what is it? It's video, like to execute our coffee break video. It's, it's a main video. You then have like the social media posts that you need and then you start kind of assigning people um, and just writing things that are surrounding those different um, tactics. And then um, you get into things like, oh, you should have a couple cameras, one for Instagram video, vertical, 
filming, you should have another one for horizontal vi filming. Giving away our secrets. Giving away our secrets. But uh, you start thinking, um, okay, if we need to produce this content, then like, what are the things surrounding the video that you need to execute? Okay, who's gonna be on it? What are the topics? Um, what are their strengths? So obviously surrounding coffee break, just because we're, we're here right now. But um, yeah, that mind mapping type thing is that like you you do it sometimes too what is your like where do you I, start yeah I just start from I actually don't even start at the top sometimes I'll leave like I, I think a lot like a lot of people I kind of start in the tactics realm where I, I shouldn't be yeah but I'll at least write those down and then start reverse engineering because I you know innately that you shouldn't yeah. be starting with tactics right yeah Exactly. But that's the fun part, that's, that's what they always say, right? Yeah, so. that's the fun part where you just start listing out the things you yeah. want to do. But yeah, I mean, that's not the worst too. Just yeah. whatever is flowing, you can put it on the board and then you organize it on your sheet. Yeah. Um, so, so one to 10, how, how cool is whiteboarding? How, how, <laughs> how soon should somebody get going on whiteboarding? Yeah, you should always have a whiteboard beside <laughs> you. One you to ten. Actually, had one installed next to me. Yeah, so that's totally true. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for covering this kind of weird topic, but I really think it's a cool um, uh, solution for some of you that are maybe even hitting a dry spell as far as strategy and and kind of visualizing things. I mean, there's lots of tools out there, but it's analog style. You actually are writing on a piece of metal, and yeah, it takes it your out. takes your mind outside of that word document that you have a bulleted list in. Yeah. for sure. Cool, man. Well, thanks. Thanks for a great conversation. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys next time.